Uh, I'm talking about Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah, but I want to talk a little bit more about just generally players running down contracts. It seems to be a big thing. I often kind of remind people that Arsene Wenger, manager, former manager of my club, Arsenal, did say this would be a thing. Um, it happened around the time that I think when Van Persie left to go to United, um, he did say that, you know, don't be surprised if you see more and more players running down their contracts into their last year. It will be a thing. And I think it's fair to say we've got a list of players here. Um, it, it is becoming a thing. More and more players we're seeing running down contracts and, and gambling on taking the big bag, as the, as the young people these days say, um, and, and cleaning up. Um, do you think it's a thing now, Dean? Do you think this is, the, this is where top players are now thinking and their agents are thinking, just run down your contract. Just don't sign yet. Don't sign yet. And you'll get a big pot of gold at the end. Yeah, well, I know you and Billy, Billy the producer, and you are Arsenal fans. And I can oh, no, briefly... Oh, no, Billy's not. Billy's Chelsea. That is naughty. Billy is not oh, it's, happy. It's Rufus who's the Rufus Arsenal fan. Rufus is the Arsenal one, yeah. They look the same. B Bill's not happy. He's disgusted. He's Sorry, Bill. He's not happy Sorry about that. You, yeah. But, um, well, you, you'll actually, enjoy this then, because uh, loss, thinking back to Arsenal, what you just said about Arsenal, Arsenal messed up badly, and that's why they're like they are now in this sort of situation. They had 14 players it's at one, one point. It's one of the reasons, one of the reasons. But yeah. Well, yeah, well, they had 14 <laughs> players who were, whose contracts were up, and that included Sanchez uh, and Ozil, right? So now they've let the contract get down to one year. The players can see the finishing post. So Ozil comes in and Sanchez, <clears throat> and they've got the club now. They've got the club because there's a year left on mm -hmm. their contract. Mm -hmm. They're worth a lot of money at the time, them two players. So Ozil asks for 300 grand a week. They have to give it him. Or, the, or he's leaving. They have to give 300 grand a week to Sanchez. Aaron Ramsey's next in the queue. He now knocks on the door and says, well, it's half, if that's the going rate, that's what I want. So they say no to Aaron Ramsey. He lets his contract out. £50 million player leaves the club for nothing to Juventus. Juventus probably give Aaron £25 million instead of 40 what he was worth. And he's on 500 grand a week. So he got his money back. Mm -hmm. But Arsenal... Have lost. They've lit, they've raised the bar. Mm. What you and Mo were talking about. Mm. They've raised the bar. Mm. So now everybody wants that sort of figure. But if you don't catch the players with two years left on the contract, they get the power. Mm. At two years to go, for example, if you if you're on a hundred grand a week and you've got two years left on your contract, and I call you in and say I'll give you two hundred grand a week, I'll double your wages, and you refuse to sign that contract, you've got to wait two years before your contract runs out, you are now losing a hundred grand a week because you're not signing that new contract I've offered you. So if you get injured during them two years as well, you've lost everything. Mm. Your contract's up. Say, you know, you, you hope it doesn't happen. Say you've done your cruciate or you broke your leg. Mm. You're now left with nothing left on your contract mm. with a broken leg and you've got to find a club. Or you sign that contract to double your money. Players will sign because... That is a lot of money to lose in two years. If you get down to a year, the agent and the player, they can see the winning post. They're prepared to let the contract run down. Salah and Mane, it shouldn't have been allowed to get down to this. Mm. It's the same thing that happened to Ozil and Sanchez at Arsenal. But sometimes they refuse to sign. There's nothing you can do about it. The club won't budge. The agent won't budge. But I do... I mean... I, sign, I signed uh, Sylvain Ebanks Blake at Wolves. I, you know, I offered him a contract and it was like over 20 grand a week. Over. He, he won't mind me saying this. Three year contract going up in value. Mm -hmm. He was scoring goals. He was about to sign the contract and he broke his leg at Birmingham. And the club withdrew the offer of his new contract and Sylvain was left with nothing. Uh, his next contract he signed was for me at Chesterfield. And all I could afford to give him was three grand a week mm. at Chesterfield. So that's the thing that can, that's a terrible thing that happened to Sylvan. Um, and it can happen yeah. to a player, and they know the risk. And let's speak to uh, Michael, the Man City fan, who wants to have his say on the contract situation um, and bringing it back to Salah and Mane as well. Good evening, Michael. Yeah, good evening. You're right. We're good, mate. We're good. Um, f f first of all, do you think that this is now going to be the new normal? Top players gambling. Uh, Dean has eloquently explained there the kind of pros and cons of doing that. Or, or, or do you think actually that's just going to be for a handful of top players that are going to chance their, their have the chance their chances on on you know getting that pot of gold with two years to go. I don't know, to be honest. I, I, I look at the clubs, me, to be honest, as well, because um, if you look at City in the last sort of 15 years or so, we've had one player run the contract down, and that was James Milner to Liverpool, mm. ironically. But other than that, 
it, it seems to be, you know, this this group of clubs where it keeps happening, um, or it happens more more often. Obviously, I'm a City fan, so it, it, I've not seen it a lot at our club. But on the on the on the Mane Salah debate, I mean, I'd sooner lose Salah over Mane just 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 for work rate and and tempo alone. Um, and I think if it, if the title went to to uh, goal difference, I do think you, you'd have to have a look at Salah and you know the the, the times where he should pass. I mean, he should be breaking Thierry Henry's assist record every season. He got 13 assists this year, Salah. But it could be, it could be, in, you know, far into the twenties if he if he squared his, it. You his, know, his goal his goal record is better than Mane's, though. You know, his goal his goal record is, but I, I just think for effectiveness, I just think I, I think Mane is more a clock player than 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 Salah, and mm-hmm. it's a team press and a team game. And I think sometimes you've seen the fallings out between Salah and, 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 and Mane. And often it's when it's, it's Mane that's in a huff at Salah. And I just think, I just think uh, re- replacing Salah would be better than replacing Mane for me. That's uh, that's my opinion. That's right. a fair point. No, but here, cheers to the call, Michael. <laughs> do, do you know um, Van Dyke got injured last year? Mm-hmm. And you can more or less predict how many points Van Dyke is worth to Liverpool. Mm-hmm. You can predict how many points Alisson when he signed, is worth to Liverpool as a goalkeeper. If you had Mignolet in or Carrius, you, you can more or less say, if you sort of predicted yourself in your own head, how many points do you think Alisson's worth? I'd say a season, just by having him in the goal, I'd say he's worth about 15, 20 points to Liverpool. Just by he saves, He saves things he should and he doesn't make, they all make mistakes, but he doesn't make that many. Um, there's, there'll be a debate about that Van Dyke, Look what happened when he was injured 15 points By not having him in the team mm. 15 points By not having these two I think it's 15 points each The you two think, of them you, you think that, that's, that's the difference? I think Salah makes Yeah, I think Salah and Mane Between them without, If they weren't playing I think Liverpool would lose 20 points 